Johnny Kim, Navy SEAL, doctor, astronaut, and he's going to step foot on the moon soon. Where does he rank amongst Asian American role models right now? Yeah, we got to talk about it. I'm sure if you are Asian American, you spend a lot of time on the internet. You have seen the Johnny Kim memes basically saying, this is the kid that your mother always wanted. Look how accomplished he is. Uh, long story short, Andrew, he's getting a lot of press recently because he's going to be the first Asian American to step foot on the moon. And some people say, Andrew, Johnny Kim might even be the key to humanity. Oh, guys, we're going to explain why and talk about the comments and all the different perspectives on Johnny kim in this video so please hit that like button check out other episodes of the hot pot boys so long story short andrew johnny kim is about 5 8 he's korean american he's from la andrew he uh decided when he was 16 he wanted to become a navy seal he goes into the navy seals he becomes a combat medic as well as a sniper after that he goes to harvard medical school then he became an astronaut so a lot of people are just like whoa who is this guy and how is he accomplishing this much on that short of time on earth yeah well let's go into the comment section we'll analyze it and uh get, let's let's delve into johnny kim's story yep the first comment was this is the most insane resume you could possibly imagine in fact you can't even imagine it until he did it for real what the heck is this guy like one of the most accomplished recent Americans in American history, let alone Asians? Yeah, I mean, I, I would say the three major things that he did, those are like three of the top 10, like typical childhood dreams. He accomplished three of them, doctor, astronaut, Navy SEAL. G.I. Joe, essentially, yeah, right? G.I. Joe, cool guy who shoots guns. And you know the interesting thing people. is, Andrew, you would say he's physically unassuming, right? Yeah. And he doesn't come across as like a guy who's like the rock. Obviously, Jocko looks like The Rock, right? Yeah. So he doesn't seem like a guy who's like going crazy and doing all these like movie style missions. Yeah, right? when you watch his interviews, I mean, to be honest, he seems like a somewhat reserved guy. Doesn't, sounds like a regular person. Doesn't sound like this crazy personality. Not like a The Rock type personality. Or even like he doesn't look like one of those physical 100 guys. Right. I do think what he's done is viewed differently through that lens because he's kind of undersized. And he talks about being in the Navy SEALs and how he's even undersized for a Navy SEAL. Right, right. right. So he talks about that. So it, it is acknowledged, but I think that um, I think that does affect how people view him, which is yeah. unfortunate, but it's a real thing. And we're going to get to that later because more people should look into his story and be inspired by it in their own way. Um, somebody said, yo, the Asian parental pressure is just too strong to compare to this guy, dude. What the heck, man? Like, I just don't want to get compared to him because, like, I'm like a super big underachiever compared to this guy. He's like, Johnny, oh, you become a Navy SEAL. So good. Somebody oh, said, you're going to be a doctor. Harvard, so good. Oh, you want to go to space? Okay. <laughs> just, somebody just, said, somebody stop this guy, man. He's making us all look bad like we're bad Asian American kids. Hey, David, you said what's next after being an astronaut? Possibly the beginning of the Mars colony. We'll talk Ooh, about it in a sec. Or some people said Johnny Kim for president, too. Like we said... He's generating a lot of press because he's an astronaut now. I think a lot of people find it difficult to embrace people who have been in heavy, heavy combat warfare because mm -hmm. there's so many uh, different feelings about war, right? Somebody said, man, um, Johnny Kim is a great American hero, but uh, to be honest, if you're in the military, you understand that all these things that he accomplished are somewhat linked to each other. So I don't know if this person was trying to downplay his accomplishments, but basically he was saying the Navy SEAL combat medic thing led to the Harvard thing, and then they need somebody in the astronaut crew who went to medical school because they need a doctor on board, so they got him. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't think that discredits what Johnny Kim did at all, by the way. He still had to go through all the same training as everybody else. Yes, he's not on the front line of the Navy SEALs, right? He, he's, he's laying back there. He's with the sniper, and he's helping people out, you know. Saving lives, right? Yeah, Once saving people get hit, right? His friends, yeah. So I think that... I think what it is is that he doesn't come off as Jocko, right? If you guys are familiar with Jocko, Jocko literally looks like The Rock, but just well, because he was like a Navy version. SEAL, like trainer or something or whatever. Yeah. So he's kind of got this this gigantic jaw and like this masculine mandible. Well, you could just look is. at him and just go, "This guy's in the top 0.0, .0 yeah. percent of testosterone." Yeah, I guess. Listen, if you want to play devil's advocate. And be critical of Johnny Kim as a role model. Oh, okay, being more like Johnny Kim doesn't get you laid as much as much as being an Asian EDM DJ would. So yeah, let's have more EDM DJs rather than Johnny Kim's. I there's probably some truth in that. In right? a party sense, I get what they're saying, but it's like Johnny Kim, what he's doing is like he is really like adding true value where I guess the other flashy stuff 
it's it's not clear that it adds value, but I guess it looks more fun. Obviously, yeah. Johnny Kim probably hasn't partied that much in his life. Obviously, in society in 2023, Andrew, you would say that more of the inertia of, uh, of downstream culture is more with the F boys than with the Navy SEAL boys, though. Yeah, for sure. And, like, and you know, that's what it is. But I'm sure, like, he didn't get into the Navy SEALs to get ABGs, okay? Listen, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. For 90s kids, kids growing up in the 90s, the Navy SEALs and the military seemed a lot cooler than it does nowadays. For it sure, because there's a lot more ambivalent feelings about foreign conflicts and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. It lost a lot of its luster. Somebody said, a lot of Asian men actually die in combat or do heroic things fighting for the U.S. However, in the movies and stuff like that, they'll always replace our characters with white guys or something else because they want to portray Asians more as the enemies. Yeah, so this is kind of saying that a lot of people tend to think that there's not a lot of Asian Navy SEALs. Actually, 4% of all Navy SEALs are of Asian descent somehow, right? right. So that's not nothing. That's not, that's not nothing. But what I guess a lot of people are saying is like, whoa, a lot of the Asian military soldiers that did die and did do great things, they're not really acknowledged in media and Hollywood. And this is a Hollywood situation. Like the 442nd milit uh, Infantry from World War II, which was all Japanese Americans, that was the most decorated of all of World War II. There's not a movie about them yet, and there probably should be, just like there probably will be and should be a biopic about Johnny Kim at least 10 years from now. Yeah, and I think that that's because some hesitancy because they believe that the people who are still really into watching military things don't want to see guys who look really different from them doing pro-American military things, right? Because yeah. oftentimes, let's be honest, the Asians in those old school movies from the 1950s, they're portrayed as the enemy. Yeah, and it also like Asian Americans, as we know, we have this perpetual foreigner mask or stereotype right. on top of us. So that has to battle that and all this. And that's why I think it's important that Johnny Kim has movies made about him. So John exactly. and Chu hit up Johnny Kim or his representation. I know he's not big on media and being all public. He just wants to do his thing. Um, somebody said he should be the president of the United States of America. I don't even care what political party Johnny Kim represents. I'll vote for him. Because I guess, you know, like I said, he's just accomplished a lot in life, you know? Well, I think what people are saying is when they say, I don't care the political party, they're just like, I don't know, a guy who does all that, I trust him. And somebody said, uh, nope, man, America's just going to uh, basically elect somebody who's just a talker and is slick and hasn't accomplished anything in their life. Mm, no, I mean... I don't know, guys. Yeah, that sounds kind of true. Somebody says he should be in every Nike ad and have movies made about him. Yeah, I think more New Balance and Under Armour, but might fit him better. Right, more of the pro America brands. <laughs> Somebody said, like I said, uh, Johnny Kim's not like those weak F-boys we got nowadays, but the truth is the girls are going to keep going for those F-boys, so men will continue to see that and continue to shape themselves to be F-boys instead of Johnny Kim's. What? Ladies, you could have Johnny Kim the bartender, or date Johnny Kim, the astronaut Navy SEAL doctor. Um, do you think that that's true? That the, the luster of somebody who's doing ultra elevated, obviously he's at like a 15 out of 10 level, like AAAA one level civic service or civil service is not as valued as it used to be. Yeah, dude, it all goes back to this whole conversation about like the manosphere, or like what do men mean nowadays because there's no war. Obviously in a time of war and stress and like famine, you would need Johnny Kim's. You would need this doctor, astronaut, Navy SEAL, Johnny Kim. You need more of them. But in today's world right now, it's the media game, and it's just the flash, and well, it's the look, and every and, and we're not we're not looking to draft people for a war. Or well, something. well, so let's like, be clear, Ed, America is fighting wars. Oh, they're fighting they're, wars. They're fighting wars, but it's just not in the public eye. Like, right. less than 1% of the American population is involved in it versus, like, let's say back in the day, like right. 10, 15%. Right. Um, somebody said, he's amazing, but it's just so unrealistic for your average person to relate to him. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's partial. Part of the reason why it's not as big of a story. I mean, in a way, it's amazing that he's this undersized Navy SEAL doctor astronaut. And then also that kind of keeps his story like maybe not as You're interesting saying it's or almost flashy. so amazing that people can't even relate to it. Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. Anyways, guys, uh, those are a lot of the major comments. Oh, one one funny comment did say, Oh, hey guys, before Johnny Kim, it was Johnny Sins. He did everything <laughs> first. <laughs> He had even more jobs. I will say this, though. I saw one comment that said Johnny Kim is the future of human life on other planets. Explain this, David. Why? How is Johnny Kim the potential future of life on other planets? So long story short, when they do finally figure out how to get to Mars and get humans to, on Mars to investigate life or moving humans over to Mars or whatever, it's going to cost like $50 billion a person or $100 billion a person to get them there, okay? So... 
what they're going to do is they're going to want one guy or one girl or whoever that can do a bunch of stuff. So they're saying Johnny Kim can not only fly the rocket ship to Mars, but once he lands, he'll be analyzed the plants and be able to save anybody who got sick from the Mars air. And if there's Mars aliens, his Navy SEAL training is going to come into play, so he'll be able to defeat the aliens. <laughs> and he'll be able to, uh, yeah, just to figure out all the math because he got degrees in math. Yeah, and he's... Asian, so then the aliens are going to see him as one of them. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, that's, uh, but yeah, uh, no, that's a really uh, interesting point. Um, guys, getting to our takeaways, overall, man, I feel like that Johnny Kim deserves more credit, and I think every Asian American should at least, like, especially like learning about history or American, during May, uh, Asian American Heritage Month, should at least, like, hear about his story because is it it is amazing but i'm not saying that every asian needs to go into the military because i know a lot of people disagree with the military so if you disagree with the military and foreign conflicts and going into other people's countries and performing uh you know missions and you know potentially messing with people then you're not gonna like what the navy seals are doing because they're part of the military right so i think that that's the only aspect that makes it difficult for like because, like you said, the, the perception of foreign conflicts is so different yeah. and it's so gray nowadays, uh, whereas it used to be all, like, everybody was, like, G.I. Joe was, like, mm -hmm. Team America. Obviously, it's changed now. And I am sure this is the least of Johnny Kim's concerns right now as he's about to fly to the moon, but he doesn't have a big social media presence. He's not out there on Instagram showing his sniper shot. He's not out there wrapping people up and healing them on Instagram. He's not out there, like, training. He's, like, you know, when he's speaks he is somewhat soft-spoken he doesn't have like this crazy booming like voice that is yeah. like in captivate i guess he doesn't have the flash as much right now for sure and but i highly recommend that all asian americans like look into his story watch his interviews i think it's a great story about discipline he actually had an incredibly tough childhood yeah. and upbringing that uh you guys got to look into it i don't want to get into it but um just somebody said man this man went from taking lives to saving lives to uplifting lives to trying to uplift humanity as an astronaut. Wild. Johnny Kim from L.A. There's so many Johnny Kims from L.A. that have accomplished 0% of what he has. <laughs> no, Johnny Lims too. Johnny yeah. Sims, everybody. <laughs> Johnny Lims, everything. But let us know what you think in the comment section below, guys. Um, do people need to look into Johnny Kim's story more? Do people need to more look at his life and follow it more? Or is it just like you're just trying to do the Johnny Kim of whatever you do? And does it seem like right now entertainers are so overvalued versus like maybe people who are doing uh, civil or, um, you know, military service? Let us know in the comment section below. Keep it civil. And until next time, we the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.